Now, as a streamer, I feel like it's my obligation. No, sorry, my duty to cause drama in whatever direction I choose to walk in that day. And now, unlike most streamers that get into drama in 2022, don't worry, I'm not gonna say any slurs, nor am I gonna scam people out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. No, instead, I'm gonna stick to what I know, something that's very close to my heart, you know, as you can tell by my, you know, look at that, look at that. Oh! Now, yes, close to my heart, Sonic, right. Oh, I'm just going to come out and say it. I'm just going to say it, okay? <sighs> God, is, it, is this what people feel like when they need to tell their parents bad news? Like, oh, you know, mum, I'm I'm really short on cash this month. I can't pay rent or I'm moving to Birmingham. <laughs> no, no, all jokes aside. Sonic Adventure 1, it's the best Sonic game of all time. Now, for those of you that are, are regulars to the stream of mine, uh, you already know of my controversial opinions on the best Sonic game of all time. But why is it so controversial? I mean, I thought everyone wanted Sonic Adventure 3, right? Surely Sonic Adventure 2 can't be that much better than its than its predecessor. That, that can't be right, right? Let me first of all clarify why I'm making this video, you see? On the 2nd of October 2022, roughly a month before uh, Sonic Frontiers released, because bearing in mind, uh, I live in a time currently where Sonic Frontiers hasn't released, and I don't know if that should be a good thing or, or a bad thing, but nevertheless, I wanted to know what people thought the best Sonic game of all time is. So I put out a tweet that read the following, important colon, which is the best Sonic game of all time? Just wondering, dot, 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 this won't be used as evidence or anything. Okay, smiley face. Now, amongst the replies, we had support for Sonic Adventure 2, rightfully so. It's a good game. Along with Sonic Generations, also a good game. You know, and then we had some ones which I believe are honest, uh, despite them being uh, less favorable games. But people said that Sonic 06, Sonic R, Forces. And that just pissed me off because I was reading through the replies and there was not a single, not one mention of Sonic Adventure 1, which that could only be the case that people just haven't played that game, right? No, no, you know, no one said Sonic Adventure 1, you kidding me? So alas, here I am opening the gates to the Good Opinion Zone once again as a uh, limited time offer. So sit back, open your mind, and let me tell you why Sonic Adventure 1 is my favorite Sonic game of all time. Now, Sonic Adventure 1, the original one, before DX, which is the definitive version, it came out in the fucking 90s, dude. And you know how old that makes me feel? I was born in 1996. I'm I'm just about to be 26 years old. And that makes that just makes me feel so old now. You know, I didn't have the privilege of playing it on the original system, which was the Dreamcast. But amongst the fans, the definitive version of the game is the DX version, which released on the Nintendo GameCube, uh, most of the seventh generation consoles, uh, disregarding the Wii. And of course it came out on the PC as well. My first experience with SA1, it was 19 years ago in 2003 on the Nintendo GameCube. And at the time, despite other technological accomplishments on the system, I thought that this was you know, this was amazing. This was, this, this was so great, you know? I didn't have much experience with video games at the time. You know, the Nintendo GameCube was kind of my, well, it was my first home console experience. I'd only had a, a Game Boy Advance before that. Um, so I, I really thought that going from the Game Boy to the GameCube, this was a real step up for, for gaming, you know? This, this was incredible. And I have played through the game uh, multiple times, admittedly, uh, never 100 percenting it uh, when I was younger, as that would come much later uh, in my life. Am I out of focus? There we go. Sorry, my phone kept on buzzing, and I can only assume it's my lawyer saying, "Jab, don't, don't fucking, don't, don't say it, don't say something about your one's the best, Jab, don't, don't fucking say it." After this, naturally, I went on to play Sonic's uh, other games, including most of his spin-offs. Uh, every mainline Sonic game, 2D and 3D, and I indulged myself in the <laughs> in Sonic's other media, like the cartoons and you know and and the comics. Uh, I mean, especially fucking what is it? The one uh, someone in the com uh, the comments be out saying, "What's the one with Sonic and the guitar?" I haven't wrote this in the script. This is this is just impromptu. But it's like, 
<laughs> that one that one's fucking that one's sick i i love that whenever we'd go on a uh, holiday to like um to spain or something they'd always have that on the fucking tv then <laughs> no doubt um yeah sorry i'll i'll, I'll get back on track now sorry <laughs> Playing every single one of Sonic's games and indulging in the other media, they must have taught me something, right? Well, here's what it's taught me. Never rely on anything, especially if it's blue, identifies as a hedgehog, has around size 13 shoes, in UK size that is, because you will no doubt get disappointed at least a few times a year because fucking hell, it is hard being a Sonic fan. Now, that being said, I believe that Sonic games, they age like wine. And I don't know if I'll feel this way uh, come 20 years, looking back on maybe Sonic Forces, and I'll think, damn, that was a good game. But at the moment, I look back at Sonic Adventure 1 and Sonic Adventure 2, and sometimes Sonic Heroes, depending on how chaotic I'm feeling that day, and I look back at them with glee. Now, maybe that's because I played them as a child, and I have a lot of nostalgia surrounded that. I'm not saying that might not be the case, but when I come to play them today, I still have a lot of fun and I still feel like there's uh, an endless opportunity for today's youths to go back and, and appreciate something that maybe wasn't released in their time, but still holds up today, in my opinion. When Sonic Adventure 1 first came out in the 90s, it was met with positive reviews, despite sharing the stage with Super Mario 64, which came out two years prior. Now, Super Mario 64, it's considered by many to be like, you know, the godfather of video games. You know, it was his first outing in 3D space along with Sonic the Hedgehog as well. So nevertheless, Sonic had some big shoes to fill uh, that year. And yeah, it was a bit choppy compared to Super Mario 64, but that didn't stop reviewers like IGN, GameSpot, you know, the greatest <laughs> uh, to, to rate it 8.6 and 9.2 respectively, which are, are amazing scores. Sonic Adventure 1, well, it has an overworld, which, yeah, short compared to modern games like Lego Star Wars or, or Nino Kuni, it kind of feels a bit lacking now. But for the time, I could spend hours just running around, goofing about in, you know, Station Square or Mystic Ruins and even going back there, I feel like, you know, <laughs> Mitch Jones running around Dalaran. I could spend my whole days there. It's fucking, it's sick. Even when I go there now and I'm, tw I'm almost 26 years old, I feel like there's still things I haven't discovered there, even though I've got, it, on Steam, I've got 100 and something hours in Sonic Adventure. And, you know, that that's my latest version of Sonic Adventure. I, I first played it on the GameCube. As for the levels, man, Jesus Christ, Emerald Coast, which is the first one that you get to play in Sonic Adventure, that is one of the best 3D spaces that Sonic has ever had to run through. I mean, look at it. You get approached by a fucking killer whale. Do you know how much more scary that is than the gun truck? from Sonic Adventure 2, which is also in the first level. Every single day I go outside, I live in the south of England, I see trucks all the time. How often do I see a killer whale? I don't think I've ever seen a killer whale in my life. And if you somehow outrun this thing in Sonic Adventure 1, I can only assume that Sonic Team had plans for more whales, because that would have, you know, that, that would have been, that would have been really, that would have been really awesome. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to go through and tell you about every single level because Sonic Adventure 1 has a ton of great levels and I don't want to, well, I don't want to invalidate my argument with all the bad levels that Sonic Adventure has. But with Sonic Frontiers vastly approaching and with Sonic's history or recent history of disappointing modern releases, the classic 3D Sonic games has never looked so appealing. Speaking of Sonic Frontiers, they're giving away a free pair of Sonic Adventure 2 shoes <laughs> to people that sign up for the mailing list. So that kind of sparks hope in me that Sonic, Sonic Frontiers and other Sonic releases going forward might look back to Sonic Adventure 1 and Sonic Adventure 2 with a bit of inspiration. Now, thank you so much for watching this video. I know that it's been a, a shorter one and it's been quite a while since I released the video. I was, I did have another video planned, but I got to the point where I thought this isn't really, this isn't really at the standard as to what my other videos were. So I kind of wanted to put it on the back, but videos should now be out every two weeks. So if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe. There's videos every two weeks in a similar style. And hopefully I'll see you over at the stream, twitch.tv slash jervq. And hopefully I'll see you again very shortly bye bye i really feel like i just made a video where 
I just said, oh, go play Sonic Adventure. Didn't really explain anything. <laughs> and then just fucking, and then just called it a day. 